These mods will make you want to play through RDR2 once again. The first mod is called Beefy Arthur, and as you can see, it really beefs Arthur up. He has those bulging biceps, those pecs ready to deck, and he never skips leg day. Next, we have the online legendary animals companion, which allows you to have any legendary animal as your companion. Your new companion will follow you, and if you wanted to, he'll even attack anybody you command to attack. Oh no! Next up is the bodyguard spawner, which gives you a cool little menu, and inside you can choose a mod from any NPC in the game and that NPC will protect you. So that's how we have John Martian over here as our sidekick. Next up we have the colorful weapon wheels icon which will colorize the weapon menu so you have weapons that actually stand out a little bit better at least to me giving RDR2 that extra flavor. Next we have the mod hunting wagon which gives you a handy wagon for hunting. You can store a bunch of pelts in the back and you can even customize it so you can change up the lanterns, you can put a cover on it if you want or you can even change into different wagons. They have everything from big ones all the way to small ones so you can take you and your bodyguard and now go hunting another rather cool mod is the gun metal rework which reworks all the gun models so now they'll have a nice shiny tint and this does affect most guns which in my opinion gives it a nice finish this is definitely a weapon mod i always have installed the next mod is called authentic euphoria motions and this adds realistic body physics to NPCs. So as you're killing the competition, they will fall in a more lifelike pattern, giving you that extra immersion. Red Dead Redemption 2 has never been more realistic. Improved wildlife features a bunch of improvements for the wildlife, especially if you're a hunter. There are now more wildlife spawns across the land. All spawns for animals have been increased, even for the birds in the sky, and you'll see more frequent herds roaming from place to place. All around a great addition, especially if you're trying to fill up that hunting wagon with pelts. Next are a few quality of life mods so we have remove all screen effects we have silent dead eye and no kill cam filter so you won't get that obnoxious dead eye sound whenever you enter the mode it'll just be a nice smooth slow motion dismember anybody allows you to well dismember anybody so along with heads being popped you can now shoot off limbs as well there are a couple of map mods that i use as well the first one is the beautiful dark mini map which gives you a pretty sleek translucent mini map on the bottom left hand corner of the screen i think the vanilla mini map stood out a little bit more so this map helps it not to stand out as much but you still get to see where you're going the next map mod is called the map redesign dark version this just turns your main map into a dark version of it and if you're not a dark mode user for your phone or computer what are you doing the punisher attack gives Arthur a retexture of his gunslinger coat. This symbol really fits Arthur because he do be punishing some people pretty bad. This next mod is a simple but sleek one and it's called Rifle Holster. So instead of the vanilla sling that you get, you now have a nice custom made holster for your rifle. There are multiple variants of this as well. Right now we're using the Arthur beta version, but I believe they have everything for anybody's style. This mod is simple, but now it's a must have. Going along with the theme of weapons, we have the Restored Quiver mod. So now when you have your bow equipped, you can actually see your quiver on your character. Definitely not a needed mod, but for me, this is now essential because where else would he be pulling the arrows from, right? Next up, we have the Dog Companion mod, which allows you to go up to any dog on the map and pet it to bond with it. Now, this works hand in hand with the Legendary Animal Companion mod. So right now, this cougar is my dog. But if you wanted a different kind of furry friend, you can always just grab this mod. There are options in the any file as well to give your furry companion infinite health so you don't have to worry about it getting stomped out. There's also conversions where you can turn your dog into a fox so if you want a foxy doggy companion, you have options. Next up, we have the gun effects mod. So as you're shooting your bullets, you will see new smoke effects coming out of your gun. Coupled with this, we have a mod called Wyan's Bloodlust, which makes the blood really stand out. You will see new blood splatter effects from animals all the way up to humans, and it almost gives it that kill bill type of vibe. I really like this mod. They do have some extreme versions as well. So depending on how much blood you like, you can really customize it. It just makes the game a lot more spicy <laughs> the next mod is called gun tricks and i have no idea why rockstar didn't put this in the base game but this basically brings those online gun tricks back into story mode so you can toss and flip your favorite guns after you smash on some baddies. Now we can all agree that the lantern is a nice addition to RDR2, but the unfortunate thing is that it takes up your hand slot. The mod called Stash the Lantern allows you to stash it on your gun belt. So now you can still get light while you take care of business too. This is another one of those mods 
where I have no idea how it didn't make it into the base game. Unlimited horse whistle distance is a must have mon. No matter where you are, you'll be able to call your horse quick, fast, and in a hurry. Next, we have a mod called Bandit Hideouts. This will add bandit bases onto the map identified as a skull, so you'll get to fight as many bandits as you want. These bandit camps will respawn after a certain amount of time, so you can have fun slaying as many bandits as you want. You will be randomly attacked on the road as well, just by bandits roaming around the land, and the mod is really configurable, so you can even increase or decrease the amount of bandits that you run into. Now this next mod is a doozy. This mod is called YM's Triple E Merge, and this is a merge of three different mods. These mods add thousands of extra cosmetics, as well as clothing items. You have everything from new hats, different kind of coats, different styles of fur cloaks, jorangos, different type of coat parts, new shirts, gloves, neckwears, bandanas, masks, I mean pretty much everything. You can even get a backpack if you want. There are a couple of pre-made outfits as well, and with all the added content, you can really get unique with your edits. But it doesn't stop there. You now have access to a lot of different hair options as well. So you now have some pretty sleek new hair options, which is actually a lot. I think it's over 100 just for the top of your head. And then of course you have new beard options as well. So you can get your Arthur looking spicy, but that's still not it. You even have new gun cosmetic options. See, you can even make your gun spicy, but it still gets better. We can't forget about our horse. There's even new cosmetic items for your horse as well. At the stables, you'll be greeted by a wide assortment of new options with new loadouts you can put on the back of your horse. You just gotta be careful with some of these such as the miners and hunters loadout because if it's covering your saddle you're not going to be able to ride your horse but you're able to add a canteen and lasso canteen only lasso only add the explorer set which i usually keep on my horse a prospector set or if that's not your thing you have new custom saddles as well so whatever your flavor there is something for you these clothing and accessory mods make me want to replay through rdr2 with these just alone it creates so many options and variations to really customize your character whether you're arthur morgan or john marston you could honestly just install this one mod and have the time of your life in rdr2 this mod is called rampage trainer and this is a single player trainer for story mode that hosts and boasts a wide range of special features by default you open up the menu by holding f5 and there are menus upon menus for you to explore in the player menu you're able to replay specific scenarios so you can make arthur do various commands depending on the scenario you pick you can play specific animations and you can even change arthur's wardrobe so if you enable the wardrobe cam you have a nice side by side view and you can even do random components so you can keep on going until you find the Arthur that you're looking for or you can go and customize each component one by one you're even able to load and save your outfits so you can switch between them on the fly maybe you don't want to play as Arthur though you're able to play as any creature that you want and cause havoc if you so choose you can even be any NPC available in the game you can change walk styles hair and weight and all in all just really customize your character you can spawn in various effects sparks fire rings water splashes, smoke. You're able to play emotes where you can be smoking. You can even do voice lines. Where, where are you? Let in, boy. Horse customization options are available as well. So you can custom set your horse stats, bonding level, and you can even change your steeds accessories on the fly. In the weapons menu, you can add any weapon you want give yourself infinite ammo or you can get really crazy and give your ammo unique properties oh my goodness you can even enable your gun to revive characters after they've already died there's actually a lot of unique weapons the weapons get so crazy you can even become thor you can change the time of day on the fly which definitely comes in handy you can full-on change the weather to thunderstorms over to blizzards or even a hurricane in the middle of the desert or you can enable absolute chaos with a tornado and meteor showers Oh my goodness, my bad tumbleweed. And if you thought we were done, there are many games here as well. You can play Undead Nightmare 2, where you have to fight hordes of knife-wielding zombies and try to survive to the end. You have a counter on the top of the screen, and after you get all 100, you'll get a spoopy surprise. You can give yourself infinite money, more items, or even control your honor level. Bounty can be decreased from Rampage Trainer, or you can even unlock your cores and collectibles this is definitely one of those mods you can't miss out on we all know red dead redemption 2 has some of the best graphics in the market but even with the game looking this good you're able to take it up another notch the graphics mod i use is called visual redemption this is a free work in progress mod that overhauls the graphics of red dead redemption 2. various tweaks were made to the game in order to enhance the overall atmosphere and it's meant to give you the most realistic graphics possible this mod doesn't only touch the graphics either this mod 
mod also overhauls various weathers and this really gets you way more immersed into this game shadow distance has been enhanced there's now bloom fixes water has better reflections and if you're familiar with red m for that online role playing experience this graphics mod works for that as well and once you take a nighttime stroll in saint denis i don't think you'll ever go back to the base graphics this one graphics mod really gives you what you need and now i can't play without it and this is totally a free mod from the raised mods website so even if it's not for you it doesn't hurt to give it a try these were my top choices for mods to get you to replay rdr2 once again if you enjoyed what you saw feel free to like and subscribe because we have even more mods we'll be showcasing but until then we'll see you next time